Hello everyone, my name is Sinmer and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps with the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, my name is Sinmer and this is Star Sector Version 0.95a and dare I say... <laughs> I have done the impossible. We have the Mudskipper MK2s, and they're actually good at killing things. So we got one with a Devastator. We have another one with an MK9 with a Mark 9 auto cannon. We have a last one with a Hellborn cannon. So why are we going with these and not something else like the um, like the uh, do, 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 whatever it's called? Um, well, you see, these have this wonderful thing called ill-advised modifications. And what that does is that makes it so that every time a weapon on the ship fires, there's a chance it gets temporarily broken, or a chance it just explodes. <laughs> so every time one of these fires, there's a chance the weapon just stops working. There's a smaller chance the weapon literally explodes, damaging the ship. Which might be enough to just destroy these. Because this is basically the equivalent of taking a motorcycle and then putting like a tank cannon on it. <laughs> this is like taking this is like taking the, the machine gun the, the the gun that's in like one of the Thunderbirds. <laughs> Whatever they are, you know, those those airplanes that go for maximum burn as fast as possible and then fire their fire their main gun which takes the entire ship and literally will stall the plane until it just starts dropping yeah this is the equivalent cool to putting that on a motorcycle and then you know, like running with it so um <laughs> it's probably not going to work too well anyway um yeah they, but they have a significant chance of critical malfunction when stressed so yeah, and some of these guys will just stop working altogether. So pretty much everyone has the assault package, except for him. You're supposed to have it. Oh no, some of them don't have it. Unfortunate. We'll have to put that on there. <laughs> so let's just do that real quick. Is it on there now? What? What in? What in the world? All right, I guess we'll have to fix this uh, real quick. We'll just do that, and then we'll uh, run. Then we'll move forward with it. Let's see. It's in the A's. A zild package. Excellent. Okay, sounds good. Let's set that to this, and then let's go fix every single one that that's, doesn't have everything it's supposed to. So we have twenty-seven of these, and um, <laughs> they're actually better than I thought. So we're just going to make sure all of these have that and everything should have an assault package or an escort package because we want them to actually attack the enemy instead of hanging back and hiding from them. All right, that works. Now we can sort of help them out a little bit, but we need to go back somewhere. Uh, so we're here. You know, that is an Hadriel. Why not? We can go. Yeah, whatever. We'll just we'll just use these. And, uh, well, we're going to go fight this one, a Pirate Corsair. As you can see, it is uh, rather dangerous to us. It's a three-star. So we're going to let him get a little closer. We're going to quick save, and then we're going to jump on top of him. We're just going to teleport, and then we're going to attack. So let's go ahead and move to engage. That'll be fine. Then we will deploy everyone. <laughs> and uh, full assault. Good luck, guys. <laughs> so since we have dev mode on, we're going to transfer over to dev mode, I mean over to free camera, and we are just going to let everyone come out here and do their thing. Oh no, they already disabled one of the hounds. So. <laughs> Anything that does not have shields is basically just dead. Alright, they took down one of the mudskippers. Now those... This eradicator over here could be really dangerous to us. But um, here's the problem. He's currently surrounded. 
by all of the mudskippers. So, um, yeah, the, I mean, they're going to take substantial losses. But uh, he has the problem where uh, he's kind of uh, fighting the entire fleet by himself now. So he's good at killing them. But he's also taken substantial damage. So he can do the work. <laughs> it's just, can he survive long enough? Looks like he'll be able to clean up these three. But he's already like half dead. <laughs> so this wolf is keeping these guys nice and busy, but he's also incredibly screwed up. And that Devastator is able to do some, some pretty good damage to him. I think his cannon's probably broken. <laughs> Because, oh, no, wait, it, 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 well, it sort of worked. His might have just exploded. Now, these guys, of course, have no shields whatsoever. His 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 gun uh, might be destroyed. <laughs> does he even have a gun? Yes, he does. It's, it's not completely destroyed yet. But this wolf is like one tap away from death. As you can see, the Shrike is having problems. The harpoons are very good at hitting, and uh, let's see, where's that? At? Where's that eradicator? He's almost dead. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, very nice. They're doing way better than you'd think they would. This shrike is pretty much a corpse, and I think they killed that wolf. <laughs> One of the worst ships in the game. We win. Um, let's just uh, get everything back. And when those are ours, that's good. Pick through the wreckage. We can actually take everything. And uh, did we lose any ships? No. Okay, well, sounds great. Let's just uh, repair. And let's jump over here and see what we can do there. Hello. Let's uh, consider our military options and engage the orbital station. Go do what you can, dudes. Oh, by the way. With our skills, which is the, uh, if they don't have a pilot, we, they cost less. Um, they basically cost, like, one supply each. <laughs> so, <laughs> what this translates to is you could have a Paragon, you could have, like, you could have, a, like, ooh, I got it, I got it, I got it. We, 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 could, we could just have, like... We could have a Paragon, a Legion, and the rest be nothing but Mudskipper MK2s, and we would actually be able to field everything. <laughs> anyway, let's see how well they do. I'm assuming they won't necessarily do too, too well. Because they're... they don't have any defenses whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> so I assume they're just going to get slaughtered. <laughs> but let's go ahead and go to free pan, come over here to where the station is, and watch them just drop like flies. <laughs> because they have no defenses whatsoever. It looks like they're trying to target the fighters as well, because they really don't have much in the way of protecting themselves from fighters or or bombers or missiles. So this is basically a turkey shoot for this guy. Do we have them on full assault? We don't. Let's put them on full assault, see if that changes anything. Let's put an eliminate order on this guy. Maybe they will engage him more. Let's tell everyone to attack him. Maybe they will engage a bit more. But I don't think they have the, the DPS required to like really be successful here. <laughs> Wait. Hmm. I mean, they're overwhelming someone. <laughs> it's not them. They got this guy. Oh, oh, oh. They're just dropping like... Oh. 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 oh they, they overwhelmed them. 
They did it, guys. <laughs> oh no! Alright, guys, they won. <laughs> they did it! <laughs> Everybody dies. <laughs> so we just get all the get all the uh, the really crappy ships back. Get all the stuff that they lose for really losing ships. Yeah, they lost like seven. That's okay. They could get more. And uh, yeah. <laughs> for fun, let's just see how well they do against um, Remnant. Why don't we? As you can see, this is clearly an endgame capable fleet that uh, in every way can go and uh, that can go and fight the uh, ultra redacted and totally win. As you can tell, yeah, they got they they got this. Don't worry, we'll send it everyone. Why not? Have fun, guys. <laughs> they can do it. I have faith in them. No, not really. All right, everyone. Uh, let's put a kill order on them and a kill order on them. It won't matter. Uh, I mean, they got this. Don't worry about it. As you can see, we're over here. Um, we're over here. We're gonna <laughs> see run for your lives. And uh, yeah, watch it. Watch them. They totally got this. Don't worry about it. <laughs> because they just, you know, evaporate. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> As we're just like... You see, this is what happens when we're just like, man, we really need to get our overhead down. We have way too many pensions right now, and we need to get our cost of doing business way down. We can't bankrupt ourselves. Huh. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to leave the battle after we start it, and um, we're going to uh, lower our overhead. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to lower our overhead, as you can see. <laughs> yep, totally. <laughs> All right, so can it actually do anything? Um, let's see if it can take on a weak remnant fleet, maybe. That's the normal nexus. We can't touch that. Okay, so don't see any remnant fleets here. So that's the one with the normal one. That one doesn't have anyone have anything. The green, I don't remember what the green means. Uh, I know there's a, another damaged remnant nexus around here somewhere. I think it's over here. Might be here. No, it's a regular one. Um, what about here, Zapla? Okay, we have a derelict ship and a remnant fragment. You know what? It'll probably do it. <laughs> so let's just see. Eh. Let's just see if they can take on this remnant fragment. Do it, guys. You got it. <laughs> Pull the salt on and let them do that voodoo that they do. Go on, guys. I totally have faith in your ability to win this fight. Come on. <laughs> oh no, his weapon immediately stops working. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, you know, they, they, I mean, they they traded two pieces of crap for one really good ship, and they are actually hurting this guy. <laughs> now, <laughs> cleared it. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, they are doing way better than you would actually think they would. 
one on one, these ships are absolute hot garbage. But even if we didn't have the ability to reduce the deployment cost by like one, even if we didn't have the the ability to reduce the deployment cost by half, they would still be pretty good. And I like how they friendly fire each other by accident, trying to kill the fighters. <laughs> No, no! <laughs> I would have gotten that one. Those fighters are probably going to kill a few of them. And there's, then there's this guy over here who is doing pretty well because he has two pieces of crap that are trying to hurt him. And neither one of them are anti shield. <laughs> but, you know, these mudskippers are actually fast enough to run away from them, sort of, when they are you able to use their special. And, uh, you know, the rest of the time, not really. But the, but the swarm is coming down now. <laughs> As this guy desperately tries to not die. <laughs> but he knows he's going to explode sooner or later, unless his friends get down here and save him. And there we go. All right, making some good work on his uh, on his shields here. And there he goes. You know, we had uh, we had Hero Lumen over there, <laughs> so they can take down fragments. So that's good. Slow our ships. We do. Well, let's just you know repair again. And um, hmm, hmm, hmm. let's see. Is that a bigger fragment? Not really, but the same size. Now, what about over here? And yeah, we have some larger fragments, sub-ordo. What about that one? He's much bigger and beefier and meter. Uh, let's go pick a fight with him, because why not? Let's go up to that guy first, though. They don't have any allies, so uh, we'll see if they can take down this sub order because why not? Let's push this to its idiotic extreme. <laughs> can they win? Let's find out. <laughs> can they win? More tomorrow at 9 a.m. At 9 o'clock. <laughs> They're dropping like flies. <laughs> this guy's problem is that if a lot of the uh, Mark 9s can shoot at him, they can actually take down his shields and kill him pretty quickly. Which is actually sort of what ha what's happening. It's just the the Mudskippers have no defense whatsoever. <laughs> so really their option is shoot him until he dies. Shoot him and hope for the best. Okay, well they took that one down. He's got a phase lance, so he probably just one-shots somebody every time he fires. He has a tachyon beam, actually. Wait, are they actually going to kill something? Oh no. <laughs> That's not good for them. Now remember, these are basically motorcycles with... with Big guns mounted on them for some reason. <laughs> it looks like they've taken the these guys have come in and take the heat off of him, so they're just gonna wipe them out. And don't worry, we're, we're just we are just reducing our overhead. <laughs> This is where you hire a bunch of people from Chalcedon and then put them in ships like this. You're uh, reducing the number of uh, people. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> That's pretty good. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a it, it's it's a funny fleet. It doesn't really do that much. You can't really do that much to the enemy. <clears throat> and there's really no benefit to put to getting D mods on them. They already cost like nothing to deploy. 
So here, I mean, they would really cost two deployment points to deploy normally, so they're not really benefiting from skills at all. But uh, <laughs> if you really wanted a, one of the meme fleet of mudskippers, you could do it. Again, they do not work well with anything that fires a lot, so you don't want to use the Hephaestus, because it goes do, 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 and every single one of those douche is, um, it could just blow up. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't want to do that. Now, you could try swapping it to where it's all Hellborn and all Mark Nyans, uh, but the Devastators kind of do an okay job causing a lot of damage, especially for these slightly faster enemies. Uh, but and the Hellborns are good for actually doing damage to people's armor. Because these guys, they're, they're good, and they do, 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 they do a lot of damage to armor, you know, it's okay, but this one is, and it's, it's actually lower, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Accuracy, terrible. Because <laughs> some explode really close and some shots explode really far away. But, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <clears throat> but uh, there is the whole thing of each one of these you want to get viable you have to spend three story points getting viable otherwise they are really are just complete hot garbage <laughs> and not viable at any capacity uh, so you have to invest heavily in something that will only be um barely okay in the early game <laughs> And by the time you get to mid-game, they just explode. So, you know, there is that. So you can do that. You can use these. <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch them swarm things. But as I've said, they have absolutely no defense. And if something is faster than them and... or can just outlast them, uh, they'll pretty much just die. Uh, that's, that's sort of what happens with the remnants, is that the remnants, they have high DPS, and they have good shields, so they can outlast these. So these struggle to kill those. But other ships, no, eh, not a problem. <laughs> they can sort of just punch them down. But again, the investment is really, really high. So I guess a meme fleet, or if you have command console, can just give yourself, you know, like 100 story points. But that can work. But all right, there we go, guys. That is the Mudskipper Mark II uh, made viable viable quote in quotes and my name has been Fenmore this has been Star Sector version 0.95a 95.1a RC6 and I will catch you guys next time so go ahead and leave me a like comment subscribe ring that bell just share the video with whoever you think would like it and I will catch you guys next time bye